Over 1 million nursing students trust Simple Nursing to help them pass nursing school and the NCLEX. So head over to simplenursing.com forward slash YouTube to join them in their success. Now for breast cancer, we have tamoxifen, which is an estrogen modulator that basically blocks estrogen receptors in the breast and stops estrogen-dependent cancer, like breast cancer and endometrial cancer. So HESI question mentioned tamoxifen treats breast cancer. And Kaplan mentioned endometrial cancer. We report heavy periods and excessive bleeding. So the key word here, remember the ABCs. Bleeding is a circulation issue, and it's always priority. And another key word is report, which typically means priority in terms of the NCLEX. So anytime you read report, it's typically a priority situation. Now, the key point here is the big clot risk. Remember, any drug that modifies estrogen typically ends up with an emboli, like with birth control too. So just think of the double E's. E for estrogen, think E for emboli, which is a big clot risk. So naturally, we avoid anyone with clot history. So the key term is contraindication for a history of a DVT or PE. We need to clarify this order with the provider. And to help you out, DVT is typically a clot in the leg and PE is a clot in the lung. So we always clarify any drug that can cause harm to the patient. So the memory trick we use is the E's in tamoxifen. So just remember the double E's in tamoxifen. So E for emboli risk and E for endometrial cancer. We have to report heavy bleeding. Now, a side effect that is normal is hot flashes. Technically, we do not need to report this, so don't get tricked. It's to be expected since tamoxifen we call tamahoxifen. Basically, hot flashes are normal. Thanks for watching today's video. Remember to type simplenursing.com forward slash YouTube into your search bar and join well over 1 million students hacking their nursing school system.